and welcome back to Layman Library for Maryland Storytime today. We're so glad to have you with us today for our special story. Today is about apples. I bet you've gone apple picking sometime in your life. If you haven't, you should try it sometime. There are so many kinds of apples. There are Granny Smith apples, there are Macintosh, and I didn't bring the yellow apples. I don't even know the names of those, but there's so many different kinds of apples that you can pick and eat and enjoy. As they say, an apple a day is really good for you, so you should try some. So today's story is about a bad apple, a tale of friendship. So let's start our story. Are you ready? Mac was a good apple, you know, a Macintosh apple. Mac was a good apple, and he shared his toys with the other apples. In fact, he helped Granny Smith in her art class, and he helped paint and get the supplies out, and he loved to do all those things for Granny Smith, and he loved, on a daily basis, he loved to dive fearlessly into the old watering hole. And if you saw him on a sunny day, you would see him bobbing all day long. Well, on cloudy days, he looked around for nice grassy areas where he could take a nap because he liked to take naps and really just bask in the sun. He loved that very much. And he would lay there and just fall right asleep. Well, one day he was laying on that nice green grass with his eyes closed and it rained. It began to rain really hard and a lot of the earth creatures that lived down underground like worms and other creatures that are kind of under things like grasshoppers and crickets they come out from their little crevices and they trying to find a place to stay dry so they would get on top of the rocks or under the mushrooms and they were all running frantically trying to get to dry ground well it just so happened there was one little worm that had another idea in fact and mac woke up you know, when he woke up, he had all sorts of rain on him, and he had little raindrops on him, and he woke up and he thought, huh, I don't feel like I'm all alone today for some reason. He said, something seems different. And he looked around and he thought, you know, I think I had a dream. I felt like something was tickling me right here. And all of a sudden, he found out that a little worm came out of his top of his apple, and he said, hi, I'm right here. He said, oh, it was you. You're a little worm. You love apples? Oh, yes, I love apples, he thought. Well, we can be friends. My name is Will. Well, Mac and Will enjoyed having time together, and they thought, well, this is great. Now I'm never alone by myself. So Will and Mac did things together. They would swim together. They climbed trees and they had so much fun. Will showed Mac how to fly leaf kites, and Mac showed Will how to jump in the old swimming hole. And Will, of course, liked to dig in the dirt, and so he showed Mac how to dig in the dirt, and they got really messy, so they'd have to jump in the swimming hole again and clean off. Oh, they had so much fun. It was a great day every day because Mac wasn't alone anymore. Well, everything was going really good, until Mac and Will decided to walk to the old apple orchard to see the other friends. Oh, and all the other apples saw Mac with a worm inside of him. He said, ooh, you got worms. Ooh, you're a rotten apple. Ooh, yucky. And Mac couldn't believe that they had said that. He was feeling so sad. He said, well, actually, I'm a very sweet apple, he said. Oh, Mac and Will felt very sad about them making fun of him, so they decided to walk away and leave the orchard. Well, they did all sorts of things together. Will, being a bookworm, of course, loved to read books, so he shared his novels with Mac. Mac loved to hear the stories. In fact, they were such good friends and became so acquainted with one another that they could even finish each other's sentences when Mac would say, Oh, once a time, upon a time, there were pirates in the land, and Will would say, and they found buried treasure in the dirt. They were like, how did you know I was going to say that? He said, well, we're just such good friends. We just know what we're going to say. Well, they had such a terrific time together, flying their kites and swimming and doing all the fun things, reading. And one day they thought, well, you know what? We'll just go back to the orchard and see our friends again. I kind of miss all the other apples. 
And they went there, and sure enough, the other uh, apples were still unhappy that there was a worm in Will, or in uh, Mac. And they said, ooh, you're a bad apple. Ooh, worms. We don't like worms. And even the crab apples, which are little tiny worms, were crabby, and they are mean anyway. Well, Will and Mac sat on the grass, and they decided they didn't need to be in the orchard anymore, so they left. But that night, they were very quiet. They didn't speak much to each other because they were thinking about all the people that made fun of them all day. And Will felt really sad for Mac. And when they went to sleep the next morning, Will was gone. He decided he, would, he scrawled a little message in the dirt. You know how worms are. They can crawl around. And he wrote a little message. He said, you're a good apple, Mac signed Will, and he left. Mac was very sad. In fact, he was so sad, he thought, there's nobody here to finish my sentences anymore. When I say something, nobody else says anything. And I'm so lonely. Oh, I guess I'll go back to the orchard. So that's what Mac did. He decided to go back to the orchard and hang out with all the other friends. He still played baseball with them and played with the toys together. He went painting at Granny Smith's art studio, and he still did all the swimming and things, but it just wasn't the same without his little friend. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill, and it was just a small hole, and he thought, I need to go find my friend Will. Where can he be? And he searched high, he searched low, he looked all around the orchard and all around other places. And finally, he looked up in the sky and he saw a kite flying. He ran to it and he followed the string all the way down and sure enough, there was Will flying the kite. And he was sitting in a stack of books, reading his books. And they were so happy to see each other that Mac decided, you know, it's better to be a, a bad apple with a worm and with my friend than it is to be alone. So they were, became friends and they stayed friends no matter what somebody said. They didn't feel like anybody could hurt them anymore and they all lived happily ever after. That's the apple story. Now, it may make, make you want to go eat an apple. That's the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to set these apples down real quick because we need to do a little finger play. And I want you to pretend you're a tree, an apple tree, okay? So raise your hands up nice and high like you're an apple tree. It goes like this, way up high in the apple tree, five little apples were smiling at me. You ever see the apple smile? I shook that tree as hard as I could, down fell an apple. Mmm, it was good. So if one fell down, there's only four left. Way up high in an apple tree, four little apples were smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, down fell an apple. Mmm, good. So there's only three left now. Way up high in the apple tree, Three little apples were smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell an apple. Mm-mm, good. Only two left. Way up high in an apple tree, two little apples were look smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell an apple. Mm-mm, good. Only one apple left. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple was smiling at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell an apple. Mm-mm, good. If you eat that many apples, you may even get a bellyache. I hope you don't eat five at once. I hope you enjoyed our stories about Mac, the apple, and you might want to check out some of these apples because there are all kinds of apples if, if you go in the store. You might want to try one today. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.